0% cancellation for airport and railway bookings. உடனடியாக download செய்யுங்கள் Fast Track app. How important it is to dream and how important it is to pursue your dreams. Well, I feel we all dreamt at some point of time. You know, uh, I feel we still keep dreaming every day. But uh, the moment we talk about this kind of, kind of a dream, what we are talking about is to set a goal in life and how to achieve it. The path, you know, that you need to follow to achieve it. So, <clears throat> I feel it's very important looking at the strengths that you have got you know, at an early stage to have a goal in mind. And the beauty is where we have to be careful is at different stages in life, you may have different goals. You know, and that's where once you, I feel once you are 17, 18, 19 and beyond, you know, that's a time when you are having your bigger goals set up in life. And the sincerity, the hard work and the path that you need to follow. I feel that's the most important thing. We can all make plans. We can all make plans that may not be realistic. You know, at the end of the day, looking at my talent, you know, like if I compare to cricket, if I'm batting at number six and my big aim is to score a hundred in a one day, you know, it's very difficult to start off. Second, basically I'm asking my team not to play well. So unless they get like four down or five down in first 10 overs, I don't have a chance. So I feel having realistic dream target is very important. And at the end of the day, you break it down and you see what is the best way possible for me to achieve it. And once you have broken those uh, bigger targets into smaller targets, you know, you, you try to achieve it every three months, four months, you come back, you have a relook and you evaluate, you know, what needs to be done because nothing ever goes to plan. You know, that's one, one of my favorite statements and I tell all coaches whenever they give me a plan, I'm like, okay, whatever you have given is fine. But the first time the bowler gets hit for a six, all plan goes down the drain. And from that, you know, you are only managing the chaos. And I feel that ability to manage chaos is what is important in life. You know, life is very boring. If you have everything in life, you know, it's very boring. It's the challenges that make it interesting. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you. That was a wonderful response, my boy. I'm sure a lot of us now are extremely inspired to dream and pursue that dream by being logical as well. Everyone knows my boy's love for bikes and automobiles, right? But when did the fascination for drones begin? Everybody wants to know. The nation wants to know. It's, it's a very interesting thing. You know, I've, I'm more of a mechanical guy than, you know, I love the mechanics of things. I, you know, I like to see it happen because it's much more easier to understand. So bikes and all from an early age and also the fact that in India, like in the West, bike is still more passion and, you know, it's slightly different. In India, bike is a commuter segment. You know, we use a bike to go to place, from place A to place B. So it's a mode of transport. When it comes to drones, you know, I am 81 born. I don't think in the 90s there was any concept of drones. You know, so 90s, even early 2000s. But in the games, so when you play a, let's say a PlayStation or you play now something in an iPad. So drone is one concept you know, that has caught everybody's imagination. And even when you fly a plane in a game, it seems more like a drone. So that was my fondness towards the drones. It started, I think 2015 or 16 was the first time I got myself a drone. That time the restrictions were not there so I got myself a nice drone and you know it could fly for 30 minutes small not very big and the first time I actually flew it I was fascinated with that thing you know the to imagine something that light which can stay up for so long 30 minutes and literally went up so far that it was very difficult to see it so I was like you know this is something that definitely is the future I never thought drones will become the future how it is today you know it's it's a matter of imagination you know it's a platform where you can make it do anything you know it's all about the technology you have what you can uh, put into the drone so i feel you know that's where it all started uh, i'm still not a good flyer because uh, you know i didn't get time to continuously fly it but now hopefully you know i Don't have any time also so i can play around a bit more <laughs> now we are there for you my boy to make you a ace pilot but uh, I wanted to know, you know, you touched upon a very fascinating point that, you know, uh, where you got interested into drones and you um, 
played out your thought process right away from not the 1980s and games that is so nice it's insightful but i want your perspective and your opinion about what you feel is the potential for drones in india i would say it's it will create a disruption in the sense you know as i said it's i feel it's a platform now it's up to our imagination how and what we can put in and how we want to use it and in the global conflict one of the biggest thing is the global conflict that we are seeing the amount of drones that are getting used you know whether it's just for surveillance security or you know with the armaments and everything but if you take it away we are talking about delivery you know we are even talking about using it to supplement you know 3g 4g or 5g services in the rural areas and uh, i feel that will be that will be massive because the drone technology will also keep on improving you know i feel in the coming years you'll have much better technology you know the the power of the research that has been done on the batteries you know will go up further not only because of the drone because the ev is coming in and Absolutely. we all think it's much more cleaner and all of that so a lot of technology will flow in and i feel it will be a matter of you know how and what we can imagine and how well they marry each other you know because there's always a like when an integrated design something you know it's there but when they integrate it that's a real challenge you know how well it is integrated how easy is it is you know to be used especially if it's made for a common man and agriculture you know i think we'll talk about it later but you know agriculture is another big thing you know where i feel it will have a big impact absolutely you're so right because if you see drones today back in the day you used to be only able to take pictures with it or capture videos but today you are able to attach it with probes sensors magnetometer sprayers and you are able to even fit 4G and 5G enabled drones to provide connectivity in rural india so you are absolutely right the potential is immense but you know uh, you spoke about dreams you spoke about logic now you speak about potential but there's one thing which i'm very certain that every single person in this room feels at least you know a majority of my life but Uh, uh, being an, a sports person but i'm sure everyone in this room feels pressure everyone feels the expectations but how does one deal with the pressure and the expectations that are set upon themselves and how does one cope with the pressure i think being a cricketer you know we have we have felt that pressure through or whenever we turn up to play for india there is pressure for us and what is important is to take it in your stride you know once i realized i was like you know i need to have fun with it fun in the sense whenever somebody says oh you know you need to win the world cup and this and that i was like okay tell me why we should win the world cup so now from that just sense of pressure talk we start having a conversation with the other individual so i'm talking about 2011 now and they were like you know it's happening in india that's why we need to win the world cup and i said but none of the home teams have ever won a world cup oh. so now they are like okay that's uh, we never knew that i am like you know that's how it is so you start having fun you take it in your stride because one of the biggest thing is you know not to get overwhelmed with the expectations you know pressure like when it came to us it was not pressure it was more like expectation level the fact is people want the indian cricket team to win each and every game and if you at times ask them okay why do you think it should happen they are like no no you are representing your country you know we have one of the uh, big powers when it comes to cricket and i'm like the opposition we are playing against they are also representing their country they are also big so there's no good reason that india will only win in sports you go out and you compete if you lose you accept it and you improve so when it comes to handling pressure what is important is to have your own expectation level one of the things that really helps is you know to be honest to yourself because in today's world you know we can lie to everyone be it my wife my parents my sister but one of the facts of life is you cannot lie to yourself so you know you have your own expectation level set you have your target set and every morning when you go you see yourself in the mirror you see what has really happened in the past couple of days or month and you tell yourself what needs to be done every failure teaches you something what is important is how to take it in your stride how to accept it you know and all those learnings help you become a better person 
So you don't handle pressure, you follow the path. The pressure will get handled, the result will come. You have that process, you will get the result. If you don't get the result, the path will tell you where all the mistakes happen, what are the learnings and it will equip you so that in the next 500 meters or 1 kilometer, you, know, you achieve your target, you achieve, you, you get a process where which you will achieve what you want to achieve with discipline, hard work, sincerity and the most important thing is honesty to yourself. Wow. That was uh, hands down, like you know, such an insightful reply and a response and he took so much time in explaining it to us. Thank you, my bye. Thank you so much. For the final question of the session, because we have uh, other things to cover as well today, I would like to recall the advice that you gave me during the shooting of this ad. You told me a couple of months ago with this advice that really changed my perspective on decision making. You told me that sometimes, you know, you will be faced with a challenge and most people will listen to their mind or their heart in saying, oh, chase that ball, hit that ball for a six. But you need to resort to your conscious and take that decision. And it's a very split second decision between listening to your heart and mind and listening to your conscious. And you have said that you should trust your intuition and you're conscious a lot more than the heart and mind. I understood that and I've lived by that. I really want the audience as well to understand what you meant by trusting your consciousness and your intuition rather than the heart and mind. You know, first of all, I, I go by my, like in, in general terms, we call it gut feel. You know, so a lot of times, you know, even when it comes to me, you know, cricketers have, who are doing commentary, they're like, oh, you know, he's somebody who listens to his gut. One of the thing is, I, my personal feeling is there's nothing called gut feeling. You know, basically the, the thing we are saying, gut feeling, it's basically the data you have stored. Whatever you have gone through, whatever matches you have played, whatever has happened, whatever games you have watched, all these are data. You only get an intuition because of that data. You know, let's say if I don't have any knowledge about something, you know, it may be some manufacturing something or whatever, I will never get any intuition unless I, you know, see something that I know about. So my starting point will be that and then I'll try to connect all the dots, but it's a guesswork. But what happens in our case is whether it's a field placement, whether it's a bowling chain, it is because of the experience that we have already got, because of the fact that we have been in similar situations more often than not. So that to me is gut feeling. You know, I don't know if you're a biker or not. So, you know, this is one of my favorite examples. I'm like, today's world, you know, everything is like fuel injected. So imagine I give you a carburetor. I open it up and I'm like, what is this? So unless you know about it, you won't get any gut feel. It will be like, you know, it's something mechanical. I don't know what it is. So I feel gut feel is very important because it's the first reflection of what the mind thinks about what is in front of you. You know, a lot of times when you are scared, it's illusion. You know, there's nothing and you see something in the air. So I feel gut feel is very important, but you have to weigh in the positives and the negatives and then decide. The problem becomes multifold if you don't have the liberty of time. You know, like when you're batting, you have to decide everything in fraction of second. So if you have the liberty, well and good. If not, generally your first intuition, and especially if you have knowledge about the subject, your first intuition is quite right. It's, you know, if you have time, then follow it up with the best pros and cons. If not, then follow your gut. But please don't it, don't use it as an excuse. Ah, he said that, so that's my gut. I did it. The, the drone won't go through the wall. Even if you have a gut feel, it's not going through the wall. Um, you know, that is a very nice question, my, I mean, a very nice answer, my bhai. Thank you so much. Um, it was a very insightful session, don't you think, audience? <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. So, uh, let me take great pride and immense privilege to welcome CSK's own Deepak Chahar. <laughs> Mr. Shivam Dubey. 
and the opening master blaster, Mr. Devin Conway. So, uh, before we get started, I wanted to, like, you know, the, these guys don't need any introductions, but we'll get straight into the program. We would want to ask a few questions to all three of you. My opening uh, question to the opening bowler is that today you saw a lot of different types of drones. What did you think about it and what was your experience witnessing uh, multiple different drones, especially the delivery drone which you are using for Swiggy? Yeah, first of all, uh, uh, thank you so much for inviting us and uh, I wouldn't think uh, that the drones are so big because we only see them in the air and they look small. So when we realize they are uh, uh, big in size and uh, I like the delivery drone because we uh, as sportsmen are always traveling, you know, always staying in the hotel. And uh, we have few teammates like Shivam Dubey who likes a lot of food. So then we have to order a lot of Sugi and Zomato. But then it, every time we have to wait for <coughs> the food for at least one hour, one and a half hour. And if we have these drones, we can uh, probably receive our food quickly. And then, you know, we, uh, Shivam Dubey can hit more sixes and eat more food. <laughs> That's a very nice question. Uh, but my second question is to the opening batsman. Mr. Devon Conway, Devon, you being such a versatile player with a wide range of shots, what did you think about the drones that you saw which had diverse applications, especially in terms of mining, agriculture, defense, etc.? Yeah, I think um, it's pretty special to see the drones, you know, um, I didn't know much about drones before today and seeing some of them with um, agricultural purpose, defense, um, as Deepak said, how big some of them are. Um, it's pretty special to see that um, Garuda is producing such fantastic drones. Um, my next question would be to Mr. Shivam Dubey. Um, Shivam, please do tell me that you are the man who has been hitting maximum maximums this year, right? With like monstrous sixes. You also saw a very wide range of drones which are super big, especially if you can see Vajra here. This is over 8 feet in, in length. So, what did you think, the, your first opinion on seeing drones which are super big and they can do a lot of different aspects? Uh, I think uh, I have not seen the drone live before today. So, uh, I did not expect that the drone would be so big and uh, they have so, uh, so many things to do. Probably agriculture, defense, many things uh, as Deepak said for the food also. So it's really good for us uh, to get the food early and I'm very excited about these drones. So really amazing. Thank you. Uh, Devin, the next question is to you. You're from uh, South Africa and also representing New Zealand. So I wanted to know, you've been traveling all around the world. You have a very diverse uh, perspective. Uh, I wanted to ask you your opinions of drones, the market globally, and your experience personally when you keep seeing these drones flying when you're hitting all those sixes. Yeah, I think um, the diversity in drones is, is amazing, you know, as, as we've learned today that there's drones for agriculture, uh, defense, um, you know, also just ordinary use with taking video footages and photos of different parts of the area. And I think um, the space in which it's growing so nicely and so fast is it's great to see. And I think there's more to learn each day as you uh, keep working closely with the drones. Thank you. Um, next question would be to Mr. Uh, Deepak Chahar. So, I saw that you took a keen liking towards the, the droney drone. So, uh, you, I think you also know and I spoke to you about this, that we named that drone after none other than Mahindra Singh Dhoni. So, what did you think about the droney drone especially and a few words on that? Um, I think it's a brilliant name because, you know, Everyone knows uh, why it's special and uh, I would like to say, you know, uh, the drones I saw today, uh, they will uh, surely make a change uh, in the world because, you know, uh, I, I come from a uh, village, you know, I've seen uh, agriculture and I've seen how people struggle in the village and then my father, he was in defense, he was in air force. So I have seen that part also, but I think these drones will uh, really help defense and farmers as well. So I think uh, this is a good chance uh, for all the youngsters, those who want to, you know, uh, uh, help uh, 
defense or you know be be helpful to their family those who are in agriculture i think they they're going to do an amazing job thank you so much yes uh, i did brief all the three players about our garuda kisan drones which recently received type certification so you will be able to receive loans as well as subsidies on these drones and we are seeing over 6000 drones that have been pre booked by a lot of youngsters from across india so uh, just a point to note there i know we are very huge on stats and i will be sharing some stats very soon but uh, let me quickly ask shivam um, like you know we would really love to know a little bit about you personally on how your experience has been as a cricketer as a youngster because you inspire a lot of young people around the world so we just wanted to know as an athlete the commitment that you need to put into sport because that is the same kind of commitment that a drone entrepreneur puts into his work so we would like to know how important commitment and sincerity is in anything you uh, you pursue in life probably it's just about discipline and uh, it's about dedication what what uh, people think about it and what is my opinion to everyone uh, you are a cricketer you are uh, a football player or you are, you want to be a engineer you have to be dedicated uh, because if you are dedicated because many people in india are dedicated but the percentage are very less but the percentage you make it more that makes you successful so being uh, making every day count every meal every seconds counts for your life so it is very important to work every second in every day thank you so much uh now we would like to uh like we had a small kind of um event where we asked the audience to ask you guys a few questions so i have the audience questions with us the first one is to devin so um as csk fans we are used to suspense till the last ball of the match so tell us about a csk match which gave you the same sort of anxiety or a nail biting finish story yes i think um a match that comes to mind was last year's ipl we played against mumbai indians at the dy patel stadium um and i remember we needed four of the last ball uh, my boy was on strike and yeah he obviously clipped it onto the leg side hitting a boundary and winning us that game of the last ball so that's one that was etched in my memory for a long time thank you so much that was a wonderful memory who remembers the csk's double victory this season against mumbai indians this season everybody remembers that and we are so happy that el clasico landed in our favor this this year um the next question is to mr uh, deepak chaha please tell us one favorite memory at csk and receiving advice um on a positive note from mahendra singh dhoni hello ba i have been fortunate to play with my bhai since last 6 7 years and i have received so many advice but you know he is someone uh, you know i am someone who learns a lot from him but not just what he says but i see what he does you know uh, i have been fortunate you know i have spent so much time in his room everything because his his room is always open for the youngsters and i have seen uh, how humble he is and how how he treats everyone equally that's the best part of him you know uh, no matter how who are you and what you work you know he is always uh, same for everyone so this this i have learned a lot for my by to be you know uh, same for everyone be humble and uh, just focus on the process and then obviously when he's playing on the ground he thinks about cricket and when he comes off the field and he's a different man but when he enters the ground he's a different man so obviously you know that small things i have learned a lot but uh, obviously i can't tell everything here but i have learned a lot thank you uh, let's give a round of applause to all the amazing answers that they've been giving so uh, one question that the csk universe wants to know from you shivam is the audience wants to know do you actually you've been hitting sixes like like monster sixes like 90 96 100 meter sixes uh the question is do you know that you hit a six the minute it touches the bat or do you like wait to see the ball actually hit the stands and then you realize definitely when hit the ball hits the bat i can feel it's going to be a six but uh, 
you talking about monster so i have to see that how long it goes <laughs> uh, how many of you have all seen shivam's monster sixes this ipl i can't hear you big fan thank you thank you. wonderful um so now we do have three because uh, we've had nice discussions in the back so we wanted to award uh, all three gentlemen for being so patient and despite they finishing up their match only a couple of days back and they have a packed schedule we wanted to give them an honorary award and a memento uh, because i feel that they deserve that so please join us in welcoming uh, dr vijay kumar to present the awards to devan conway to uh, shivam dubey as well as to deepak chahar now we have a very exciting segment the rapid the rapid fire round for all three of you gentlemen first uh, we will start with deepak chahar so uh, it will be 10 questions almost yes or no or like you know either or questions are you all ready for the rapid fire rounds where is the excitement everyone yeah. all right deepak ready first over or last over when you bowl first <laughs> bold or lpw your preferred wicket bold caught and bold or caught behind by mahi bhai caught behind by mahi bhai <laughs> out swinger or in swinger in swinger in swing yorker or slow balls yorker Favorite wicket, Rohit Sharma or Virat Kohli? It's a tough one. India wants to know. Yeah, yeah, I've got Rohit by many times, so Virat Kohli. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite food, idli or dosa? Dosa. <laughs> Favorite beach in Chennai, Marina or Basin Nagar? Marina. You know, sir, but Bah he has to answer. <laughs> I, I have a picture uh, of my mother uh, on Marina Beach, and I am in her tum tummy, inside. So wow. um, I have a long connection with, my with Marina, with Marina Beach. Wow, that's amazing. Give him a round of applause for that. Okay, between the two IPL trophies, 2018 or 2021. I would say 18 because it, that was my first one, and uh, we came back after a long yeah. time. So I think 18, amazing. 18. Okay, this is the last one for Deepak Chah. Tough one. Agra or Chennai? Chennai. Chennai. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's good. Now we move on to uh, Devin. Are you ready, Devin? I'm ready. Fours or sixes? Sixes. <laughs> Six of a spinner or of a pace bowler? Of a pace bowler. Why? Just because I feel like um, when they try and bowl fast, I just want to hit it further. That's nice. Uh, your best friend in CSK, Rutraj Gaikwad or Mitch Santner? Rutraj. <laughs> <laughs> your favorite shot while batting? Straight drive. While uh, while you're fielding. What would you prefer, runouts or tough catches? 
Tough catches. Your favorite cuisine, North Indian or South Indian? South Indian. Your favorite hobby? Golf. Hot tub or ice bath? Hot tub. Why? I hate the ice bath. It's too cold. <laughs> Your favorite workouts, weights, cardio or nets? I'd say cardio. I'm not that strong. I'm not like Shiva. <laughs> but you still hit the long ball. This timing. <laughs> All right. The last one for you, Devin. Orange cap or CSK winning the IPL trophy this year? CSK winning the IPL trophy. <laughs> All right, the last one for Shivam Dubey. First, let's give a huge round of applause. Shivam, are you ready? Yes, I am. Are you ready? Yes, I am. <laughs> a batting or bowling? Batting. In fielding, a high catch or a low slip catch? Definitely a high catch. <laughs> Your favorite city, Bangalore or Chennai? Chennai. <laughs> Favorite color, red or yellow? Yellow. <laughs> Your favorite uh, shot to play? Probably straight, uh, straight behind the bowler. Anything for six. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite player to watch from the non-striker's end? Mahindra Singh Dhoni. <laughs> Why? Because uh, he gives a uh, different vibes uh, when he is batting with you and uh, he gives more advice and uh, definitely you can dominate the bowlers over there. And uh, when he is batting, then all the people are not praying to the batsman to get out. Otherwise, when he is not batting, all everyone is praying that batsman should get out <laughs> and he should come in. <laughs> That's so true. Yeah. Last few matches you have been seeing when Jaddu is getting out, everyone's clapping and like cheering. Yeah, and Jaddu, uh, Jaddu and Raidu Bhai have been uh, you know, uh, talking about this because whenever they are batting, everyone, is, everyone wants them to get out. Yeah. You know, what kind of support is this? <laughs> then I think Mahi Bhai should start uh, coming one down or two down, right? <laughs> yes, I have been telling him to, get, uh, to play one down. <laughs> Last match he came early to bat. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Alright, um, this is an easy one. Your favourite captain? <laughs> Mahindra Singh Dhoni. All right, uh, you've seen uh, Shivam that our Garuda logo for the IPL season after our association with CSK has turned from blue to yellow. So, which would you prefer, Garuda with blue or Garuda in yellow? Definitely with yellow. All right, then we'll have to do something about it to permanently make that. Uh, coffee or tea? Coffee. Um, your favorite drone, what you saw, the Garuda Kisan drone or Droney drone named after Droney by? Droney drone. All right. Wonderful. So, uh, thank you so much. Uh, please give them a round of applause for answering all these questions. So, just before we wrap up for the, like, you know, the question and answers, we would like, because there's a lot of youngsters here today, uh, Deepak, Shivam as well as Devin. So, we would like to start off with Deepak. Uh, very short advice for youngsters who are dreaming to be big, being on this stage, doing something with their lives. Your advice to such people? Only one thing, hard work is the key and, uh, and the consistency. You know, you will see people working hard a lot, but it depends how long you are working hard. So, if you are only working hard for one month, you will get result for one month. If you are working hard for Five months, you'll get them. So, what I say is, just give it a proper time to anything. What you're doing, aim for ten years. One thing I say to everyone is, when you want to be an engineer or a doctor, you study for seventeen to eighteen years. You aim for eighteen years. Your parents allow you to do. You study for eighteen years, then you become a doctor, engineer. I'm telling you, if you give ten years to sports, you'll surely make it wherever you want to. But the ten years has to be. Day and night, work hard and it's with the same dedication. Thank you. Your advice to youngsters? Probably I would say uh, Deepak uh, told about hard working and uh, when you come to a big stage, uh, you need to be little smarter and uh, I think you need to work what, uh, what makes your uh, work improve. So, working smartly is very important now because you just can't work day and night. And at this, when you come to a good stage, you have to work very smartly and uh, update yourself every time. Thank you so much.
please give a round of applause. So Devin, it must be uh, quite exciting for you to see so many youngsters in one room, isn't it? it yeah, it's fantastic. I see some people waving and it's, it's good to see everyone here today. So thanks for having us. Yes. Uh, so your advice to all youngsters in uh, the room today and also for the several thousands who are watching it online, your advice for young people in India who are wanting to make it big with big dreams. Yeah, I think uh, my advice is simple. If you've got a dream, um, always, you know, do everything you can to chase that dream. Um, you know, just enjoy what you do. Have fun, regardless of what you're doing. Every day, try and look to improve. Um, and, yeah, just give it your all. Don't ever look back with regrets. And, um, yeah, just have fun what you're doing. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Zero percent cancellation for airport and railway bookings. Udanadiyaga download say yengal. Fast Track App